In this video, I am going to show you how to simulate data from geometric distribution. Geometric distribution, as we know, is a kind of probability distribution uh, which models for or which shows that the number of trials that has to be made before we get the first uh, success or the first desired outcome. So here the probability that I have taken is half, considering the same example that we have been uh, taking, uh, tossing a coin, and then I want 100 uh, random numbers, okay. So I'll use the rand function uh, and uh, the parameters to this rand function is the um, only one parameter we need, uh, the probability and which is 0.5 in the case of crossing a coin and so let, when we uh, run this we will get the desired result like this. Let us run this. Okay, so when we uh, run this, we will get 100 random numbers. So let us go and see uh, the random numbers generated. So this is how the data set look like. So how do we interpret this data set? Uh, well, the first random number is 3. That means um, it takes 3 times uh, or 3 trials before we get the success or the desired outcome or uh, we get head. Right. Second time when we do it, it takes two times to get the desired output. Uh, similarly, in the third time, it, in the first time itself, we get desired output because the value of x is one. Right. So that's the way we interpret uh, the desired output. Right. Now, if you change the value of p, it's going to uh, be different. Okay. Um, now let us let us see the di uh, distribution of x first. Well, when the p value is 0.5, the distribution of x look like this. Okay, so 50% of the time we get it in the first trial itself, and it goes down with time, right? So that's the normal pattern that you will see in geometric uh, distributions. Uh, if you change the value of p, let's say we make it 0.8. Let's say what uh, how the the frequency distribution of the random variable uh, change. Well, you can see, uh, we, if you change the value of p, uh, you can see the uh, number of times we get success in the first trial itself is now much more. It's uh, close to 80, right? So that's what we expect. Uh, given the value of p, 80% of the times you will get it, uh, or close to 80% of the times you will get it in the first trial itself, and uh, gradually it's going to go down. So uh, that's the way we uh, create gen uh, random numbers from the geometric distribution.